guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a Valentine's Day look. I'm going to be sharing all of the makeup that I've been wearing recently, basically on a daily basis since this entire year and also I'm going to be sharing an outfit later in this video so stay tuned for that. It's probably what I'm going to be wearing for dinner on Valentine's Day coming up really soon so I'm going to get right into the tutorial and share everything that I'm wearing, everything that I'm loving recently so let's get right into it. So getting started, I go in with the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil to fill in my brows and then I finish them up with the Patrick Ta Shaping Wax for a more full and fluffy brow. I'm almost done with the Shaping Wax and I want to try out the Anastasia Wax next. Let me know if you guys have tried it or if you have a preference. Then for primer, I'm using the Benefit Professional Hydrating Primer which is a little bit better for dry skin than the original formula. But I still like some extra hydration, a little bit more of a dewy skin look. So I go in with the e.l.f. facial oil spray which I absolutely love especially under a matte foundation like this one I'm using the soft matte foundation by NARS I am in the shade Stromboli it's awesome for full coverage all day wear I've also found that it's a really great foundation to wear when you're wearing a face mask because it does not transfer and your makeup stays in place it doesn't come off and then I'm using the Dose of Colors Concealer. I love this concealer so much. I'm almost done with it. It's a really great full coverage concealer that has a bit of hydration to it as well. I always set my under eyes with the Too Faced Born This Way Translucent Powder. It's my favorite because it doesn't leave your under eyes cakey or dry. It's just a great matte powder. And then I use the Laura Mercier Glow Powder for the rest of my face. This is great to add a little bit more of a natural finish to my skin, especially when I'm wearing a matte foundation. It doesn't make it look flat. And then for contour, I'm using the Smashbox Cali Contour Kit. It's my favorite contour kit. I'm almost done with some of my favorite contour shades. I've been using it for years. And then I'm bronzing up the rest of my face with the NARS Laguna bronzer that I got at the last VIB sale. For eyeshadow, I'm bringing back an older palette. This is the Huda Beauty Mobs Obsession palette. This came out a few years ago, but this is like a perfect palette for any red, pink eyeshadow look. Super sparkly, super pigmented. I'm just going in with some of the deeper red shades in my crease, building it up to the outer corner, and then I use one of the really shimmery medium pink tones for my lid. For a really easy halo eye look, I just take a lighter pink shade on the center of my lid and I carry it up a little bit in my crease. I feel like that just opens up my eye a little bit more, especially when I'm doing more dramatic, heavier eyeshadow and it just kind of softens the look a little bit, makes everything come together and then I just blend out the outer corners of that and deepen out the outer edge of my eye with some of the deeper red shades. For eyeliner, I just have this champagne tone eyeliner from Lottie London that I got in a BoxyCharm and then I'm going in with some of the matte Topi tones for my lower lash line. For mascara, I'm using the one from Merit Beauty. I'm really loving this brand. It's actually now available at Sephora. I also apply some lashes. And then for blush, I'm going in with the Crossroad blush from ColourPop, which is one of my favorites that I've hit pan on recently. It's like a peachy blush. And then for highlighter, Ofra Blissful is my favorite to wear with any kind of pink eyeshadow look. It just ties the whole look together and makes it look really cohesive. I'm wearing my favorite liquid lipstick of all time, Makeup Forever 103. It goes with basically every eye look and then I'm topping it off with a Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm just to soften it up a little bit. Makeup with the Patrick Ta Setting Spray, which is my favorite setting spray at the moment. It's just very hydrating and leaves your makeup looking not powdery and just very natural. And then that's the completed look. Moving into my outfit, I'm starting off with this bodysuit from Revolve. My favorite pink blazer from She Wish. I've been wearing it every spring and summer for a few years. Um, some jeans from Urban Outfitters, new mom jeans that I've been loving, and these white boots from Steve Madden. Some of my jewelry from Majuri and Ana Luisa. And then this is the completed look. The earrings are Majuri, and then the necklace is from Ana Luisa. And here is the outfit I'm gonna be wearing. 
Also a little DIY moment with this outfit. The bodysuit is a lot more sheer than I expected it to be, but I ended up getting this sticky bra on Amazon. It actually sticks to the bodysuit instead of you because I don't really like sticky boobs. I find them pretty annoying, but this one's perfect. It's only 20 bucks on Amazon. This is the back of it so you can wear it without having to worry about it looking sheer or anything. And this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed getting ready with me. I hope this gave you some inspo for Valentine's Day. Let me know what your plans are in the comments below. Everything I shared in this video everything I'm wearing will be linked below as well and if you guys like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll talk to you guys soon in my next video thank you so much for watching bye